I'm Birmingham City Schools Communications Officer Cheryl Wheeler-Stewart. I'm pleased to sit down this week with our Superintendent, Dr. Mark Sullivan, just for a few minutes. Now, Dr. Sullivan, the first three weeks of school have been busy. It's still busy. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you, Cheryl, learning is happening every day in Birmingham City Schools. Uh, you know, I'm seeing firsthand throughout our district as I visit schools and as I follow the website as well as social media, uh, how much is really happening throughout our district. Just at West End Academy, Mr. Sheffield, he's a third grade teacher. His third grade class has conducted a, a delicious science experiment this week. They're planting their own radish garden, and this project gives our scholars a hands-on experience in learning the scientific method through the production of food. And also, at Bush Hills Academy, I can't say enough about the work that's happening over there. They're getting ready for a drone competition. This week, they did a test run flying their drones through hoops. And then at Parker High School, our students are fine-tuning their robot. Uh, later this year, they will compete with teams around the country in a robotics contest. Now, these are just a few examples of what happens every day at Birmingham City Schools. And I'm so excited about our focus on science, on technology, engineering, and math. You know, our scholars have access to tools that they need to expand their knowledge. And we have the seasoned educators, seasoned teachers, to guide them. So Cheryl, I'm excited about all that I've seen this first week of school. So when we the look at the first part of school. <laughs> <laughs> so when we look at the big picture, what's the impact of the exposure to this hands-on learning, especially with the math and sciences? Well, I tell you, uh, Cheryl, you know, I was a math teacher, and what I know is that students can often grasp concepts uh, and processes better mm -hmm. when they have a visual application uh, in their lessons. And so they, you know, students learn by doing. And so our school students take tests in class, they take state and national exams to help gauge their academic progress. And as we provide increasing opportunities for hands-on learning, we hope to see that our students will retain knowledge so that, um, that they'll improve, their reg uh, reg improve on their regular assessments. So we're just excited about students having an opportunity to manipulate things so that they can learn more. So speaking of assessments, mm -hmm. the state recently shared a full report from the spring test. What did this report show for Birmingham students? So again, Cheryl, I am extremely proud of the work that has happened in the school district around third grade literacy. So, you know, in third grade, uh, we saw a growth of 28 percentage points in our third grade reading over the previous year. And our second graders saw a 15% percentage growth. You know, this is significant because our second graders from this past spring are now in the third grade. And the Literacy Act requires that all third graders read on grade level or those students may be retained. So we have 70% of our second graders on grade level. So we look to have an even larger percentage of students reading on grade level by the time they complete third grade in the spring. Our primary teachers, that means our kindergarten, first, second grade teachers throughout the year are doing an amazing job in helping to build the foundation for learning for all of our students. So this shows that every day of learning is really important, would you say? Uh, that is absolutely correct, Cheryl. We need every student in class every day. Now we know that September is Attendance Awareness Month, but we, tr we stress attendance and the importance of attendance, attendance every day throughout the entire year. You know, and, and I, I know you know this, Cheryl, but I want to make sure the listening audience is aware, is aware of this as well. You know, the Housing Authority of uh, the Birmingham District is continuing to support our scholars and their residents. You know, families who have perfect attendance, their names will be put in a drawing and they may receive a free month, a free rent for the month. I'm sorry, Cheryl. Uh, we are grateful to the Housing Authority for this support and the partners that work with them who also help make that happen. Now, is there anything else we need to include this week, Dr. Sullivan? Yes, it's, uh, it's football season. So we kicked off uh, BCS under the lights with a matchup between Parker and Ramsey High Schools. Uh, it is our second annual Stop the Violence Classic. And I'm so proud of our scholar athletes who use their platform to address a very serious community issue 
and they, uh, I am so grateful to the partners who work with them, who provide the support and the resources for our scholars and their families. So I'm really excited about the work that's happening in Birmingham, the work that's happening on the fields, the work that's happening in the classroom, and the work that's happening throughout our district. Birmingham City Schools, success starts here.